This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. So as a part of our managed metadata service, we will want to configure and create terms and term sets and then groupings of those term sets. So let's go ahead and take a look. In our central administration, we were looking at the managed metadata service. And if I were to click the hyperlink here or come to the top and click the manage button, that'll take me to my term store management tool. And this is how I configure all of my terminology. Now, in order to add any terminology in here on the left side, because this is the actual term store, and you can have multiple language editions of your term store in here. In order to do that, I must be a term store administrator. So I could add somebody in here and let them handle the, uh, the, prop, uh, the process. You can decide what the default language is, what the working languages are. Let's go ahead and scroll up. But ultimately, what I need to do is create groupings of terminology. So if I were to create a new group here, and let's call it uh, legal language, okay? because I'm a law firm and I want to have a grouping of terminology that's all the legal language. Now this is a group of terminology that I'm about to create. And I could come in here and give it a description. I could specify who the group managers are and contributors. You know, so that they, when they log in, they can have control over this. So we can have a very delegated level of administration over our term stores. Because the people doing the departmental language and the people doing you know, other you know, business specific language would be different than those maybe doing the, um, in this case, the legal language. So once I create a grouping of all my legal language, I now need a term set. And the term set will be a set of terms. So maybe I would create a term set called contractual terms or something to that effect. Again, give it a description, give it an owner, give it a, t a contact email address, who are the stakeholders. There's a number of different settings that we can specify for a term set. And then inside of a term set, I create terms, or I can copy them from another location. I create a term, and I might have terms like contract. Okay, and I just keep hitting enter in here to enter more of them in. You know, maybe binding, um, signature, okay, I don't know, whatever. I'm just making up terminology here. I'm obviously not a lawyer. Um, but we start to pull together terminology that we use contractually uh, within our organization. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because as I begin to type, you can see these suggestions starting to pop up, and they're coming from various different term stores, or actually not term stores, but from different uh, term groups and term sets. So you can see sales is being pulled from a term set called department. So as I typed the letter S right here, it started to suggest sales. If I come up here under people, you'll see department. That's a term store, and inside of there is some terminology. It happens to start with the letter S. Okay, now. Why is that important? Let me go ahead and, and delete that particular item because we don't want the letter S in there. But as I add and create terms, this is just an example of a form field. But as I begin to type in any form field throughout all of SharePoint, okay, it could be a form where we're doing data entry, it could be social networking um, where we're tagging, you know, creating tags of stuff. Anywhere in there where I want to tag something or share something out, and if that form field has been designed, configured, to pull from this managed metadata, then it will begin to suggest this terminology so that you can keep a consistent way of referring to all of the various different bits of terminology, whether it's your business structure, job titles, product names, customer names, 
legal terminology where we don't want to be seen as coming across as you know mistyping stuff. We want to pull from uh, you know the the central repository of all of this terminology. So this is how we begin to create our term store or database, and it is indeed stored in a separate database. So when we create terms and term sets, it's a very powerful way to manage metadata throughout our organization. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.